at Jason Hollis Farms today. Me and Pete is loaded up in the little Nissan. We hadn't had just a whole lot going on this morning, early afternoon now. We have got to take a little road trip. I'm filming today, and I, I'm filming with this little Sony that I got that the other one went bad. I really like this little camera. It's handy. They're tough little cameras. Not waterproof, but they're tough little cameras. And I hope I've got all the settings right. Y'all let me know. Comment below what y'all think about the video today with this camera. Uh, I had everything set on the old one, and then you kind of forget how everything is, and I've gone back through it. Uh, if y'all see me looking up, I have to get to my bifocal so I can make sure everything's still operating right. On this camera, I can, I've can i got the screen turned around where I can see me. And then I can also look at the counter and all the settings while it's going on. But anyway, uh, me and Pete is headed south. Got a little dog box in the back. If y'all remember one of the last road trip videos I brought. My Piper dog, my black mouth Piper dog down here to one of my buddies that lost one of my black mouths that he had to help him work cows and uh, fool with the hogs a little bit. But anyway, I got her, if y'all don't remember in the last video where I talked about her, and I can't remember if I did talk about it, but I've got her from a guy to breed rebel to or somebody to she's kind of an outgrow cross most of my dogs are bred pretty tight meaning um, cousins whatever uh, my favorite cross is a uh, daddy to a niece uh, sounds kind of crazy probably in the human world but the dog world if you pay attention it really works I have done a da uh, daddy daughter cross in the past it worked pretty good not exactly what i wanted uh, the daddy uh, uncle to niece deal seems to be the best one and as i've gotten down deeper and deeper the i think the half brother half sister cross is going to be the best uh, didn't come up with all this on my own. I've had some older people that's bred dogs for years that's helped me. Dogs, cows, uh, cattle, uh, horses. You don't see a lot of people doing it in the horses because you just got once a year. It's a little risky. Uh, but in the dog world, you see it quite a bit and have pretty good luck. But anyway, the reason I got Piper is kind of every once in a while you need to kind of make a outcross to kind of mix things up and kind of loosen so to speak the breeding up a little bit so i've had her for two or three years now maybe four years and couldn't ever catch her in heat well i kind of figured this might be what happened she gets down here and she hadn't been down here long and he called me and told me she's swelling well he called me back and said now she's dripping so i was going to artificially inseminate her to rebel I've got some semen sta <coughs> excuse me, saved over at Mississippi State. If time allows, it always happens. Something like this always happens right in the middle of hunting season or something when I'm very busy. So time may not allow to do that, but I've been very happy with the puppies I'm getting out of Ralph. He's probably my best stud dog right now and he, he is a uncle to niece cross and uh, that's what uh, Rose is out of mud bud hadn't got a whole lot out of Rose yet kind of she's kind of my buddy I about decided to probably start working her more on the deer than the hogs but mud bud and there's some more spread out there that are just pretty tough and they're rough too and I like that uh, so it's not gonna hurt my feelings at all to breed the Ralph he he has made a good dog his puppies are probably going to actually be better than him 
which is always a good thing. So that's my plan. I'm running down here. She may be one of these dogs that kind of has a funny cycle that, and she may not take. I don't know. But while I've got the opportunity to run down here and get her, I'm going to try it because he's needing a puppy. I'm not really needing any, but I'll probably keep one off just to kind of keep my breeding going. So that's where we headed. We headed south. A little road trip. Pick up Piper. One thing I like about these road trip videos, <laughs> Pete just woke up. Go back to sleep. We ain't going nowhere. Oh, the thing I like about these road trip videos, I got a little time to think about comments and stuff. Oh, I had a few comments since I've gotten JC and Pete. You know, where's Dodge and where's Rose? Oh, Rose is just about too big to ride up in the front of the truck. She's big enough to drive and move you out of the way. Uh, Dodge, he is my buddy and he will be back out. JC, she is going to, I've kind of made my mind up with JC. She's not probably gonna be the house dog that we want. I've made my mind up when I start hunting and shooting some deer, I'm gonna put her with Dodge and Rose or whatever and see how she'll take up on this blood trailing a little more. And Pete, he is, I think, going to be exactly what I'm wanting for my everyday truck dog. Dodge is fine too. When just a little bit, as I get in, I stay so busy with the hunters and there's been Really, this year, it's been some unbelievable shots. And I haven't had to do hardly any tracking uh, out of the fields or anything. The, the people that's listened, and we've talked about this before, and will be patient and get wait on the better shots, they hadn't got out of the fields. The only problems I have, I've had is with these, <coughs> excuse me, knuckleheads that won't listen. And they've just pretty much missed. So haven't had, haven't had to get Dodge out. I'm sure it's coming and I'm gonna shoot some deer myself. I gotta shoot a few does and I'll probably shoot a buck or two or something, but I'm gonna continue to shoot them to where they'll run and keep playing with Dodge and training him. So get so busy, you know, you would think I would have a, I always have the opportunity to fool with these dogs on the blood tracking as many as we shoot. But sometimes you just don't get to just get so wrapped up with the customers and they shoot one and, you know, people, not everybody understands not that i'm a dog whisperer or anything i don't take this wrong but lots of people and probably most but they're not true dog people i like them i don't like going anywhere without them uh, y'all see brian that's got ribby that carries him to the shooting house with him same kind of dog as pete that's kind of my plan with pete oh uh, i don't quite hunt like i used to i used to climb 40 foot up in a tree and sit all day. Uh, just doesn't mean that much to me anymore. And I just like to, if I go, I'm gonna be comfortable. I'm gonna sit in one of these shooting houses and film. It makes it a lot easier to bring it to y'all sitting in the shooting house with the camera set up. Uh, Cody hadn't really wanted to go this year. He's kind of hot and cold on it. You know, if, of course he ain't but nine, he's not crazy about sitting still. He'd rather, get on a mule or a horse and go squirrel hunting or forever holler hawk hunting he's in he loves that so i don't push him on that we've been playing with the racing a lot but that's one reason that y'all hadn't seen dodge i'm just trying to kind of settle in on what dog that i want to tote with me all the time and i figure as pete gets a little older and i introduce him to dodge we need to get that male alpha male whatever you want to call it that situation worked out because these two could get serious the way these jack russells are the jack terriers as they 
get older, but I am really interested on probably putting them both on pigs and, you know, coons or whatever and just kind of being my buddy dogs and I very seldom, even like Katie Lee now, she's sharp. She'll sit up in the truck and ride with you all day. I don't get her. I got a bunch of, bunch of possible truck dogs, you know. Katie Lee, when we go hog hunting, that's where she's riding. It's up front mostly. She is a pretty, pretty sharp dog. I've even thought about down the road breeding uh, Dodge to Katie Lee and getting kind of a three-quarter, quarter Jag Patterdale may end up getting a pure Patterdale. I don't know. We about puppy poor right now. I about got, about got what I need. I mean, a lot of people hunt with these Jags and stuff, but the true, to, to do the hogs we've got, you got to have something with some leg on them and something with some teeth on them. And I like some dogs with some mouth to, uh, oh, uh, Keep everything packed together and y'all don't give up on, on me on the hog hunt and I'm hoping I should I had a guy tell me that after Thanksgiving that I could go on his property he's got a big enough piece of property that we can deal with the dogs there so and not bother I should be able to cut the dogs off if they get ready to cross the property line or something so I'm looking forward to that I just got to find the right day without hunters and without ball games and everything else and then we're gonna uh go chase some pigs but anyway i'm gonna pay attention to this road and i'll be back if another thought comes to mind all right y'all we're coming through aliceville alabama if it was breakfast time we'd have to stop at that jacks and get us a biscuit but it ain't so next time maybe we'll come through at breakfast time all right y'all i was on the phone but we just come through utah alabama Headed south. I make this trip down this road, I don't know, a few times a year, but it's a pretty country down here. I like it. I like these big old pastures with all this cattle. I think I'm coming right up on this place. It's, I really like Yeah, I'm getting, getting right up here. There's a shooting house way out there in that pasture. So it's a ranch king like we shoot hunt out of. Way out there. We get up over this hill. This is a this is a beautiful place right here. They always got horses and stuff out there. House over there on the back side of that lake. It's just a pretty, pretty place. He's got horses, got two paint horses out there. That's a nice place. Really nice place. That fence and all is pretty. That may be a barn up there instead of just a house. I ain't sure you can't tell. Alright y'all, we coming through Demopolis, Alabama. I just had to stop and get a little gas. And OP has woke up, but I believe he'll go right back out. I'll show y'all what I did. Mid-afternoon snack, get that thing turned around. Mr. Pib, I love a Mr. Pib. Up there around the house, you don't see them a lot, but I like them. And let me get turned right here. I'm gonna show y'all something else. I'm turning south on, I'm on 80, headed east, but I'm turning south on 43, kind of headed towards Linden. Oh, well, there's a lot of traffic right now, too. I don't know. You wonder sometime if anybody works. But anyway, I don't know if I've ever showed y'all one of these. I don't eat a lot of them, but my favorite candy bar is a whatchamacallit. Loved them. Always liked them. Liked them since I was Cody's age. I like them. They had a monster whatchamacallit in there. It's about twice that size, but I know I'm going to eat something later. So this is just kind of get me by snack. Headed south. I'll be back. Oh, another thing I wanted y'all. It's been a while since I've done one of these road trip deals. And we've got a lot more subscribers since then. And we really appreciate that. If we're getting close to any of y'all, 
down through this road trip. Y'all comment below and let me know how close I'm getting to y'all. Alright y'all, coming through to Linden, Alabama now. There's Linden High School. Not just a huge town, but a pretty nice little town. Not sure what they got to eat in this town. I always look at that when I go through a town to see what they got to eat. Alright y'all, traffic's been pretty bad, but we're coming into Thomasville, Alabama. Our destination today is Grove Hill, Alabama, which ain't too far now. Just a few miles. Alright y'all, we got the dog swap done and pretty much drove back in the dark. Not much to film, but <clears throat> anyway, me and old Pete, feeling calling tonight. If y'all like our stuff, subscribe to us, Hollis Farms. Hats, t-shirts, and stickers, hollisfarms.com. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.